Hey, I'm Brian Wood. Uh, I'm actually a web developer and I create a lot of different kinds of learning content, I guess you could call it. I do a lot of different things and I've actually got Travis Nielsen with me and he works at Google. Why don't you yeah. tell us a little bit about yourself? I design search at Google and That's then cool. I try to teach people what I'm learning every day by making videos and podcasts and, and speaking. That's awesome. So we're going to focus on UX tools. Now by tools, we're talking about the things we're going to use day in, day out, your toolkit, if you want to call it yeah. that, right? Um, and one thing I want to start out with by asking, you know, what do, when we talk about UX tools, we're talking about them generically, et cetera, but what kind of tools do you have in your toolkit? I'm always always curious. Yeah, I mean, I, I love talking about tools. I think, I think any good creator would, right? Like, can you speak to a painter who doesn't want to nerd out about, like, what kind of bristles are in his brush, <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly. Uh, and, and I remember, like, the first version of Photoshop that my friend installed on my mom's computer, I, like, I vividly. Um, so tools are so important, but when we're talking about UX, we have to really remember that the the most uh, the best tools for UX are are really just communication tools. Mm -hmm. So anything that helps you to transfer what's in your mind uh, accurately yeah. and and put that into um, the next person with the least amount of effort is the best tool. Gotcha. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, you know, it's kind of funny. It's it's interesting that I. <laughs> I actually have a lot of friends who are UX designers or work in, in UX, whatever you want to yeah, call it. Yeah. And it's surprising to me some of the tools that they talk about. Um, yeah. One of them, is she actually works a lot in Excel. Yeah. And I was like, what? I don't get that. What no, this that is exactly like, what? what I'm talking yeah. about. Like, like it's the the way to transfer knowledge and information and 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 a correct picture of what the truth is, as correct as you can get it, into the next person. And for them, for that project, for that moment, it's Excel. That makes right? sense. It might be a mock-up, it might be a slide deck, it might be a presentation, it might be a speech, it might be, it might be a workshop, whatever it is. Yeah. You're using that to communicate and that, those are the tools that we want. Okay. So, and, and a lot of us may be used to tools that we use, let's say for web design or app design, that type of thing. We, we're, we're, used, we're used to working in like Adobe Photoshop. Totally, yeah, yeah. Grew Adobe up on XD Photoshop. Now, yeah, right? it's, it's Adobe awesome. XD that we use. Uh -huh. um, and like I said, it was just surprising because, you know, as a UX designer, for instance, that they, she was using Excel and she was talking about PowerPoint and just she had a whole different toolkit. And I was yeah. Kinda, well, there's there's like this spectrum, right? Like yeah. this this idea of of what can I do? Uh, how much can I communicate with the least amount of effort that's required of me? Because I only have so many hours in a day. Yeah. So if I can communicate the same thing with an Excel spreadsheet versus coding up a whole new website and, 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 and conferencing in multiple partners and, gotcha. and hiring George Lucas to make me a movie. Yeah, like right. what's gonna be the most effective thing? It's yeah. just gonna be that spreadsheet. And so th there, it depends on what you're trying to accomplish, whether you need to use like XD to, to make uh, some, some like high fidelity graphics and, and, and export a, a prototype that somebody can tap on. Which we'll talk about. Or if, yep. Yeah, or yep. if you just wanna sketch something out on a napkin and throw it, throw it across the table. I got it. All communication tools. So another part of the toolbox that I've heard of is yeah. something called soft skills, soft which skills. I, please explain that. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> soft skills are absolutely a part of the designer's toolbox. And actually, there was a uh, there was a, a survey that was done that I found is is pretty Im impressive. That you know, back in the day, uh, employers used to look for somebody who was hardworking. They would show up on time. They would do their eight they hours. They know the tools. They know the tools. Out, right? Proficiency was yep. basically the name of the game. Yep. But now it's all about like, how can I think? How can I communicate? Am I aware of what I'm doing? How can I be adaptable and versatile? These are the things that employers are looking for. These are the things that make people make somebody a good user experience designer. So. Communication. Let's let's just talk about that for a second because it's it's you know you're trying to take something you're trying to take information you gather through research, and you're trying to basically take that and, and formulate something from it, right? Yeah. You're trying to an initial idea, a concept, whatever, but you have to communicate that out to stakeholders and other people, right? And that's mm -hmm. what we're that's basically what we're talking about. Absolutely. The different ways to do that, right? Mm -hmm. the, and these okay. these are all part of the tools. I got gotcha. you. That makes sense. Yeah. So this is this is great. I, I love the fact that we're we're starting to talk about the the tools themselves, and, and it's always interested me because when you talk about UX design, I, you know, when you when I first started thinking about this and looking at it, it was one of those things where I was like, okay, are we using the same tools we do for web design, et cetera? And you can see there is overlap, mm -hmm. but we do have other things to think about and yeah. consider, like soft skills. Absolutely, which are pretty incredible. So yeah, the best tool, whatever it is, is that tool that helps you communicate clearly.
Very well said.